All right, guys, we're doing Don't Go by the Hot House Flowers. This is from 1988, I believe. Here's the intro. And then up here we start the verse. Um, hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. This is the free part one that I put on YouTube. If you want the rest of the song, including the solo near the end, um, go to webpianoteacher.com. Uh, as a member, you can access all the videos as well as thousand, uh, over a thousand more videos. Uh, you can find me on Facebook if you'd like to hire me to do a request. This was a hired request. Someone asked me to do this song and, and hired me to do it. If you'd like to do that, just do a Facebook search for Web Piano Teacher. You can find my fans page. I'm also on Twitter. Uh, screen name is Web Piano Teacher. And you can be updated when I put up new songs on the website and, and when I do a new one so forth. Uh, but let's get started with this free part one here. Right here's the intro. We're in the key of A. <clears throat> so we're going to have some uh, C sharps and F sharps and G sharps. But we start with E and A and middle C sharp. The left hand's going to do an A octave. I just have a single A written there, but if you want to do, or you should do an octave if you can do it. Um, in the left hand, we're going to play that all together. And then an E above that, after that. And then we're going to change the chord to an E chord. E, G sharp, E. Left hand will be on an E octave now. E and E here. Back up to E. And then a D. Alright, and then we have an E here in the left hand. Just a single E this time, not the octave. Just an E here and then an A. Okay, we'll do the rhythm in a minute, the timing. So E and then an A. And then we're going to play E, A, C sharp again with the A octave again. And then E. And then a single D. And then E, G sharp, B with an E octave. And then G sharp, B. And then the left hand plays a B right here. And then an E. And then the right hand is going to finish off with E, E like that. All right, now let me do the rhythm for you at a slow tempo so you can hear the timing of all of it, timing of all of this. Okay, ready, go. And then when you do this. So we have Now, this is kind of, of accented, but the left hand here and the right hand are not really accented. So not too hard, uh, not too uh, much pressure on the, the E and the A there. All right, so you hold it a bit longer than over here. So it goes D and then immediately the chord. Okay, so that E is held a little bit longer. So starting here, it's just B, E, E, E. So you hold that B for a bit. Okay, so starting there. again. Okay, we're going to go back to the beginning and play all the way to this D and stop after you play that D. So, okay, now, uh, hold on. You can actually go ahead and play this E and A too with it. Um, you can... So right after that, after that A, so go all the way to the A, definitely. And then skip over here and we're going to do this. Okay? So you go all the way through to here, come back, 
And after the A here, skip over and do that. Now, we have E, A, C sharp. Left hand is an A octave. And then we're going to have F sharp, B, and D. Now this is a little bit odd because everywhere else through the song, we're going to do a D chord there whenever we have that uh, moving up like that. But right here, for some reason, it's an F sh a B minor chord. So that's, that's what we're doing. The vocalists that are singing the background vocals are also doing a B minor chord. So F sharp, B, D. That's hopefully some of the things you get out of my lessons is those little detail things that aren't always included in other tutorials. I try to be really exact with what I do um, without being too top but and then F sharp B D and then back to E A C sharp and then we're gonna play an E G sharp B E left hands on an E okay so starting right here okay now <laughs> you'll hear in the recording little extra notes and and it almost sounds like two pianos if you listen really closely. And I do believe it is two pianos. I think when they sometimes when they're in the studio doing recordings, they'll do a, uh, you know the piano will play through twice, and then maybe they'll let that that piano part that they didn't use be in the background just a little bit to fill it out. And I think that's what happens in this recording. We hear uh, another take that was done, and you hear little extra notes, you know, and and. Uh, along with it, which doesn't hurt it, it actually does its purpose, it fills out the recording a little bit, but um, sometimes they leave, they'll leave uh, another track on there kind of soft if it fills out the sound, so that's what you're hearing in the recording, I think. Now, this is going to be on the beat, we're going to go... Octave here, E octave here. We have, and of course, always fill in with the rhythmically when you're just doing chords on the piano. Okay, so not just what's written there, but try to fill in with some eighth notes with your thumb and pinky on your left hand. All right, so that takes us. All the way to here. Now, right here is where the vocals start, where the singing starts. Um, let's go ahead. We have time to do that. Okay. All right. Uh, so A, I mean E, A, C sharp. Left hands on an A octave. And then play that again. And then F sharp A D. See over here they did. The, the B minor, but here it's F sharp A D. Here we have E G sharp B. Left hand goes to an E octave. Hold that a bit, and then boom, boom. so you play the E G sharp B again, and then just add a D on top. So starting here, where the singing starts. And then we're going to go back and do this again, still with the verse. Because on the next board I have a little something a little different. It doesn't do this two times in a row. It does it once and then just half, and then we're gonna do what's after that. But let's start right here where the singing starts. Ready, go. Repeat. And then on the next board we'll we'll do uh, what comes after that and of course the rest of the song. So again, there's the free part one. Let's go through it from beginning to end. Okay, one, two, ready, go. Enjoy it.